Welcome to View from the Top here in Marrakesh, where I am hosting the Business of Luxury Summit. Our guest here this morning is François-Henri Pinault, who is the chief executive of PPR, uh, one of the great luxury companies in the world with brands uh, like Stella McCartney, uh, Puma and others. François-Henri, welcome. Thank you. You're an optimist about the uh, world economy and about the luxury business. Yeah, very optimistic, uber optimistic, of course. And why? What's, what are the grounds when you think of all the problems that we have in Europe at the moment? Well, because it's a worldwide business and structurally this market, the luxury market is growing structurally and it will be true for the next 10 to 20 years, uh, particularly in Asia, but not only in Asia. So it keeps me very optimistic, of course. And tell us about China. Well, China, as we did a wonderful year last year. All of our brands all together in mainland China, we grew between 35 to 40%. It's ex exceptional. It's true that this year, the growth may be only around 20%, which is still amazing. And it will continue. So I'm not at all uh, worried about China. On the contrary, I'm very optimistic. So only the, although China will slow down s slightly, luxury will still be growing yeah, at it, I think China has to uh, uh, cope with that amazing level of growth so uh, and it's difficult so it's not abnormal that the country makes some pause to continue to grow uh, structurally which will happen and considering our group we have a portfolio of brands so of course Gucci is the biggest one in China doing very well then we have Bottega coming just behind then we have YSL then we have Balenciaga Stella McCartney Alexander McQueen etc etc so I'm very very optimistic of course so one of the themes of this week's uh, summit, the Luxury Summit, is the growth of lifestyle and lifestyle brands. Uh, how is your group um, adapting and exploiting this trend? Well, it's true that lifestyle per se, uh, it's more uh, on the uh, sports and lifestyle part of the group, which you mentioned Puma and also Volcom, where we have a really brands that define themselves representing a, r a real lifestyle of people. And Volcom is the, which uh, brand is that? Well, Volcom is an American brand that was born in 1991 from the, the surf passion, the skateboard passion, the snowboard passion, uh, and doing very well, uh, talking to a very young segment of customers, 15 to 25 years old, and doing very well. How can you exploit these brands further? How can you stretch them further? So a surfing brand, if you like, becomes what? Well, it will, it will go, for instance, uh, uh, as it's a lifestyle brand, we have our own music label in, in Volcom. We promote our own artists because it's part of that culture or subculture of, of, uh, of, of surfing, of, of snowboarding. Puma also, uh, through sustainability and the, re the, 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 the place of Africa in, in Puma's DNA, for instance, we have a minority stake in a company called Wilderness, which is a luxury lodges in Africa, and there is a real link between Puma and wilderness in terms of sustainability and in terms of uh, lifestyle also. So a pair of shoes, started out as a pair of shoes and suddenly it's an exclusive holiday with some sustainability thrown in. Well, it's a way of living, of course, embodied by shoes, by, by apparel and accessories. Uh, it's, it's about joy, it's about uh, colors, it's about uh, sports, it's about uh, healthiness, it's about sustainability. And wilderness is, has the same values in a different uh, industry. So it's the links, it's obvious between the two brands. And you've talked about bringing um, luxury to the masses, uh, the uh, elevation of style, if you like, over status. Um, what's the danger that somehow luxury begins to be devalued if, if that well, trend takes place? It can, the, the danger would be that the focus of a luxury brand on the product, which is absolutely key, uh, is deviated towards other directions uh, which could be a danger um, for instance look the accessibility to the products which was uh, a key uh, uh, part of the definition of luxury brand it was difficult to access there were very few stores in the world this has disappeared but it forces the brands to focus on the product which means creativity exquisite craftsmanship uh, and, and exquisite materials. I would, I would add the functionality part also. And this is absolutely key. And even if the brand is moving lifestyle, meaning that it could address every moment of your life, it has to be sincere in every product. Could it be a casual product? Or could it be a very fashionable uh, cocktail dress, for instance? 
Now, a question closer to home. We've just seen the uh, election of a French uh, president, a socialist. You uh, head a global company uh, with all sorts of interests around the world. It's growing fast. Are you concerned a bit that um, you're going to find it a bit harder to do business in France now with higher taxes? Well, it have always been a little bit difficult. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a complicated country, but it's a, uh, well, I love that country, of course. So, but you know, in, in the way we are reshaping the group, the, the, the French market, uh, when it comes to sports and luxury, is representing in those two segments uh, only 6% of the total turnover. So uh, uh, it's, it's not a danger for the overall group, uh, and we will remain a, a strong player in France. Uh, I hope that Mr. Hollande will be able to cope with all the constraints he has to deal with, could come to the debt, could it comes to the, uh, uh, the euro uh, problem. Uh, so it's, 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 the room for maneuver is very difficult, so we will see. And then there was the promises during the campaign, what would be feasible in reality, we have to wait and see to see how it comes out. François-Henri, are you ready to play long short? <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> okay, London 2012. Or long. As a Frenchman. Long. Long, long okay, long. good. The Euro. Well, uh, I wish long. I wish long. Angela Merkel. Long. News International? Excuse me? News International, Mr. Murdoch's company. Well, uh, no, I would say long. Long. Mm. Oil prices? Uh, I would say long also. Skirts? What do you mean skirts? Les jupes? <laughs> no, very long. Very long, good. <laughs> <And short. laughs> okay. Private equity? Ah, long, but more regulated. Mitt Romney? Well, maybe short. Finally, Facebook. Long. François-Henri Pinault, thank you very much thank for playing you. Long Short and doing this View from the Top interview. Thank you very much.